nobody chatting hello today guys i'm going to be talking about five more things that americans do differently than polish people today i'm basically just going to be talking about some of the differences between our two countries some of the smaller things that we do or some of the bigger things that we do from day to day and i figured i would just make a part two about this because there's so many different little small things that you know we do differently day to day that i've noticed so i figured you guys would find this kind of interesting and maybe learn something today so without further ado guys let's just get started all right so the first one on my list is money and i firstly want to talk about sending money now in Poland bank transfers are pretty popular and to be honest I actually didn't know what bank transfers were until I went over to Poland now so how this started was I was talking to my Polish girlfriend and she said that her father had to run to the bank because he was doing a bank transfer and I was like oh you mean like PayPal like just sending money and she was like no it's a bank transfer it's just through your bank you send money through your bank and so actually I was kind of surprised by this because you can simply just send money through your bank so I think what Polish people do is they either go to the bank physically or they go online and then they basically just input the other person's account number and from there they can just send that person money and then so on the receiving end they have to accept it and then put it into their account and my first question after this was why don't we do this in the US I mean we are basically a paperless society we barely use cash here and they're doing bank transfers in Poland and probably all of Europe and we don't do those as well why not and honestly i have no answer for that it's just something we don't do and so the next thing i wanted to talk about is cash and card now in the us we basically just use card we're basically a plastic society here you know we only use our cards whether that's to buy gum at a gas station or tv at a store whereas in poland i was surprised that my girlfriend was carrying a lot of cash with her and so i think poland is going into the direction that the us is how you know it's basically just card but as for now i noticed that a lot of people in poland still carry a decent amount of cash with them so i think that with most payments it's not just all card or anything like that so i'm not saying that poland is just a cash society or that the u.s is just a card society but i would say for the most part the u.s is just a card society and then poland is kind of a mix of the two and so the next part i wanted to talk about checks now a lot of polish people were asking me you know how do checks work what are checks do people actually use that or is that just a thing in the movies and yes we use checks here and so for example my last apartment i paid the rent, water, sewage, trash, and utilities all with checks. So how this works is the company will tell you and let you know the specific name that you're supposed to write the check out to. So I actually have my own check in my hand right now. So basically it says your name in the top left followed by your address, which is right under it. And then below that, there's a line that says pay to the order of, and basically that's the specific company. Let's just say it's silver property management. That's your renting company. So then you would write pay in the order of silver property management, basically just in that line. And then there's a date in the top right. And then there's the dollar format that you write in digits. And then below the pay to the order of, that's where you basically will hand write the actual dollar amount. So let's just say it's $13. From there, you'd basically just write out $13. And then below that is the memo. So basically you would just put like rent. And then to the right of that, you would sign your name. And so then below that, you're gonna have your routing number and your account number. And basically when you go to apply to a new job and they're asking, you know, what's your accounting and routing number, those are the numbers that you're gonna input into your job so then they can just send that money straight to your bank account for a direct deposit and then on the back of the check the receiver has where they're going to sign their name so then they can put that money into their own account and so that's another big difference and honestly checks are pretty annoying and honestly really outdated and the fact that we use them even today is honestly something that i don't really understand why but it's just something we do and it's something we're probably not going to change here for a while and so if you don't input the routing and account number into the job paperwork then they're basically just going to send you an actual physical check and so what you do with that is basically you take that check and you go to your bank and then you just sign it and input it there and then they cash it out for you and the bank can either give you the cash right there or they can put it into your account and so my last point with money is I was at the restaurant and I was actually with two Polish people my girlfriend and a guy that I've known for a little while now and he came over from Poland like five years ago and he's basically lived here ever since and so when we go to pay I get my debit card he gives his debit card and the waitress goes to take the cards and she goes to the back room basically to swipe the cards and so from there I knew that they don't do that in Poland so I was like hey so what do you think of the waitress taking the cards back and you know you can't even see what they're doing and he's like oh man I, I hate it completely I can't stand it and so I was like yeah I totally understand that because 
because honestly whenever i went over to poland paid there and then came back and then paid in the us i absolutely hate the paying process here in america and so in poland they will take the terminal up to you and then you can just pay right then and there in front of them and they're not going to take your car to the back room now here in the us it's pretty sketchy honestly giving someone your card and then they run off with it like you don't know what they're going to do they can easily open up the book take a picture of the card front and back and then input those numbers into any website and purchase anything online with it so that is something that actually happens here in the us it's pretty rare but it does happen and you know it's something that wouldn't happen if we just simply had terminals to go up to the table and that's just something that i like more in poland than in the us so if you're polish and you're coming over to the us just be prepared for restaurants and things like that when the waiter or waitress will take your card and run off with it so just don't be surprised and uh you know just pretend that your money's safe because that's all you can really do or just bring cash to the restaurant and then you'll be fine all right so the second one on my list is wearing shoes indoors now you know this is a big one between us and poland right and i know a lot of people in the comment section would just say you're bringing all this bacteria into your house and you know you're filthy you're disgusting you're just a filthy american shvinya and i totally understand that because actually i I agree with you so even though i agree with you guys every house that i've grown up in we've worn shoes on the inside and so i know a lot of polish people will just cringe at the thought of that and i just you know i completely understand like it is you know for the most part really dirty if you do that but it's just something that we've always done so it's really hard to be a representative of the u.s because you know there's so many different states so many different little cultures in each and so i'm not saying that every u.s household you know will wear shoes on the inside because that's not true at all i've gone to a lot of different houses where i take my shoes shoes off you know in the first room that you walk into the house but then there's also those where they just don't even care and you can walk you know wherever you want with your shoes on whereas in Poland it's really going to be every single house that you're going to take your shoes off and so yeah I know that's kind of a shock to most Polish people that Americans will do that so I don't know it's just something Americans do and it's not done all the time I would say it's like really like a 50 50 chance whether you're going to take your shoes off in someone's house all right so the third one on my list and I know I'm going to get some hate for this because a lot of people didn't like this when I mentioned this before but that is staring so I'm not taking this away from my list and if you've ever been to the US and then you've been to Poland you'll kind of realize that I it might be a European thing but a lot of Polish people will stare and I shared this story where I was on a bus and this guy was basically just staring at me the entire time I kept looking over at him and it, there was just eye contact every single time I kept looking over at him and so a lot of Polish people said in the comments that you know it's because I was speaking English and all of this when actually I wasn't at all the whole point of the story was that I didn't say anything in English and so this was really early on whenever I went over to Poland that I realized that Polish people really do stare and so a lot of Polish people took offense to this when I said this but really all I mean is that most people are just simply curious but yeah I noticed that if I'm just walking down the street or in the mall and I'm not even speaking English to my girlfriend people will just stare at me and they won't stop staring and I really think it's just a Polish thing and I think most people that were commenting on the video that we're talking about how Polish people don't stare haven't been to the US and you know realize that Americans don't stare see here in America we don't stare at another person for like more than one eye contact if you're staring at someone and you guys hit eye contact you look away and like that's it and from there you just move on and like that's it whereas in Poland I noticed that I would lock eyes with someone and then I would kind of look away talk about something and then look back and that same person was looking at me and it just made me so uncomfortable and it's something that I don't like about Poland and it's something that I like a little bit more that Americans seem to mind their own business a little bit more and so here in America if you are staring at someone for a prolonged time and that person keeps making eye contact with you they actually might say you know do you have a problem or what's the problem yakis problem you know basically like that and you know American terms because usually if someone stares at someone for too long here in America they like you and they're being really creepy or they actually have a problem with you and they actually kind of want to fight or you know something like that along those lines usually there's a bit of a problem so I guess the American Yakish problem Janusz you know will come out in us and so yeah I guess it's just mainly out of curiosity but just be prepared for that because a lot of Polish people will stare all right so the fourth one is the vehicles that people drive you know here in America a lot of people drive SUVs and trucks whenever I went over to Poland I already knew this like going over just from like watching films and stuff like that but most people in Europe and in Poland especially do not drive trucks and do not really drive SUVs they're really not as popular okay these are the first trucks that I've even seen <laughs> American cars yeah I know first trucks I've seen 
I mean, in Poland so far this probably day. that's what you need here for these roads. Yeah. <laughs> and you know, sedans are just a very popular thing in Poland and even wagons too. There's not really too many wagons here in America, but wagons are really popular in Poland. And so if you're Polish and you come over to America, you'll notice that a lot of people take big pride in their trucks and also they even raise them to a higher level for whatever reason. I don't even know. So if you're Polish and you're watching this and you come over to the US, just look at all the trucks that are driving on the road. And so you might ask yourself, why are Americans driving trucks and all of this? Isn't the gas mileage, you know, much worse than a regular car? Now it is worse than a regular car, definitely. I mean, for the most part, some of them are like somewhat fuel friendly and they're really not that bad as for, you know, miles per gallon. So sometimes they can even get up to like 30 miles to the gallon. But for the most part, I would say they're pretty impractical for most Americans to have day to day. Reason being is because most of the Americans that I've known that have owned trucks barely use the bed of the truck. They rarely actually use it to move stuff, but when they do, they are pretty helpful. Like let's just say you wanted to buy a couch or something like that and you wanted to go to a place and buy it and then put it on your truck. Then it's pretty convenient for you and you know, it's something that you should definitely have. But for the most part, the Americans that I've known that have had one have actually never really used the bed actually at all. So yeah, I, I don't know. It's just an American thing. It's a part of American culture, I guess, is just to have a truck, get it lifted, have some, you know, shoot some deer and drink some beer. All right, guys, so the final one on this list is breakfast food and kind of the differences with that. And so whenever I went over to Poland for the first time, I noticed that the foods for breakfast are kind of different between the two countries. And so for the most part in the US, we have this specific menu for breakfast foods. That's basically eggs, sausages, ham, pancakes, bacon, oatmeal, or cereal. Whereas in Poland, I noticed that breakfast food can kind of range to even a lunch menu. And so what do I mean by that? Well, I noticed that for the most part, Polish people can even eat sandwiches for breakfast. And this is something that kind of surprised me because that's something that most people would just eat for lunch in the US. So a side note with sandwiches in Poland or Kanapka, I noticed that it is just a piece of bread and then like a cream or butter or something like that and then either you know sliced up cucumbers um, or tomatoes with dill or even like a little bit of ham or something like that with no piece of bread on top. Whereas in the US, it's only a sandwich if you actually sandwich the ingredients between two pieces of bread. And I thought that was kind of interesting because my girlfriend was like, here's a sandwich. I'm like, that's not a sandwich. That's just a piece of bread with some stuff on it. Whereas, you know, here in the US, you know, a sandwich is like strictly in the rules of a piece of bread you know, ingredients and then a piece of bread. So it's really hard for me to kind of compare the two when it comes to foods in this circumstance. But I would say on average, for the most part, the US has a specific menu of breakfast foods. Whereas in Poland for breakfast, your foods can kind of range from, you know, normal breakfast foods in the US to also more of a lunch type of food. And I also wanted to talk about pancakes in the US versus crepes in Poland. And I guess you can't really compare them because they're really different. Like crepes in Poland are these really thin wraps either like you can wrap you know around strawberries or you know put whipped cream in it or something like that or even have like a certain type of meat or something like that in it whereas in the US we have these pancakes that are about like that thick and you basically just put maple syrup on them and you can put different ingredients in it like you know chocolate chips strawberries or you know different fruits like that but yeah so that and then just breakfast food in general I figured was something that's kind of different between the two countries all right guys so that's actually it for the video today if you learned something new or maybe you wanted to let me know something different then let me know in the comment section down below so if you want to check out more American to Polish related content here on YouTube then you can just check out some of the other videos on my channel all right guys so I will catch you in the next one